he's you heard last night how a bunch of middle class, well behaved, just out of school kids rose from playing church halls and bowling alleys to become one of the most original and much loved bands in Britain. Original? Because they were alone in the so called underground music scene of 67, 68 in performing short, intelligent, melodic singer songwriter numbers. Stop rocking! And then proceeded to invent British folk rock by well in traditional songs and instrumental tunes to a rock treatment. Much loved. As evidenced by the tremendous support that the band received when it experienced the dreadful road crash in 1969, which robbed it of its drummer, Martin Lamble. John Peel, no less, writing at that time said, this group has brought me more joy during the past two years than any other I can think of. The things they have done for Radio 1 have brightened weeks, not hours. It is true, therefore, that any review I write will be covered with love. Suffice to say that the record, unhalfway, made me feel warm and comfortable and part of it. It is an LP that you will want to hear daily for a very long time. Federal Convention, we love you very much. Judy Simon, Richard Tiger, DM and Swalk, you heard last night, recreating something of those special 60s days. Ian wasn't present, but I'm sure would have liked to be, uh, had normal musical considerations not intervened. As for Martin, you were cheated of the opportunity to hear his playing. We have the records, the pictures, the memories. I've no doubt that he would have developed into an even more sensitive and outstanding drummer had he lived on. Patrick Humphreys says in his newly reprinted, updated Meet on the Ledge book, when Fairport began their career, the Beatles had barely released Sgt. Pepper, let alone Anthology. Jimmy Page was still in the Yardbirds. Jimi Hendrix was still on the planet. <laughs> and Elvis, Elvis had not yet left the building. Well, the first part of our story is over. Ian Matthews left and formed Matthews Southern Comfort, who of course had a number one single with Woodstock. Sandy left to form her own group, Father and Gay, and I left to delve into folk rock even deeper in forming Steel Ice Fan. Our tale tonight begins in 1970 with a Birmingham buddy of Swarbs joining on the bass, Dave Peck. Four hours. <laughs> Fairfield Convention, the full house lineup. Yeah. He's a groundbreaking musician. He takes my breath away. He started the fashion for playing tunes, you know, jigs and reels on the bass. He started the fashion among folk rock bass players for baldness. Yeah. Everyone followed him, including me. Yeah. Without him, and especially his wife, Christine, none of us would be here today. Woo! This field would simply be a convenient toilet for grazing farm animals. <laughs> Correction. Where is Dumbstruck? The baby of the group, with the oldest head, the broadest shoulders, the widest vocabulary, the best potential. The biggest smile! One day he's going to start writing songs, and then watch out, you singer-songwriters. Watch out. Simon Nicholl! If you don't know that he's the best songwriter, the best guitarist, 
and nearly the best leg break bowler on the planet. <laughs> Where have you been sleeping? Richard Thompson! Yeah. 